Hello everybody, my name is Puff and welcome to a new video. This here is a moss block farm and this actually produces this and this in one hour. So yeah, using bone meal, we are able to produce a bunch of different stuff in this farm. And the reason you might want to have one of these farms is for the moss blocks, which look really nice in builds and stuff uh, and the moss carpets as well. Wheat seeds, if you want to make some more bone meal or something, I think all this can be put in a, for bone meal as well. Or the flowering azaleas, and that's personally why I am doing that, because you get a special type of leaf from the azalea trees, and that's these flowering looking leaves. And let me just show you guys. Flowering azalea leaves and azalea leaves. So they're two different new types of leaves. And I think that is a really cool way to get these uh, saplings, if you will. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get into how this farm works. So when moss is bone milled, it actually grows some more stuff around it and it will convert the blocks near it. And stone is one of those blocks. So what I've done is I've created a little stone generator here and I use some pistons to push it along and then uh, it will get bone mealed here and then it will uh, push this which will destroy these blocks they'll get pushed up on top of these and then this will open letting water out and push everything into water streams and then uh, it happens all over again so let me show you how this works so if we turn it on there we go you just saw the first cycle happen and as you can see it's perfect timing as the water just clears, we move over and then we bone meal. And as you can see, we're always getting stone out of this. So it's consistent. I've tested it for over an hour and have had no errors. And as you can see, almost every time we'll get a new row of stuff to be pushed in. As you can see right there. And this build is fairly light on resources, so it's a pretty good early game moss farm that would last you up until late game. I think this is a really good investment farm for your worlds. So let's have a look at what you need. Um, pretty, pretty simple stuff. I mean, probably the hardest thing to get early game is going to be two stacks of glass and two slime balls. But the rest of this is pretty painless since this can be any type of block, any type of stair, any item, and any type of slab um, so yeah this is again pretty painless now do keep in mind you will need to provide this farm with bone meal so that is not in the resources list here but it is something that you will need for the farm to actually work and you will need one moss block to get the farm started so keep that in mind I should probably put that in this chest to one moss block okay so let's go ahead and get started in how to build this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off with is the uh, stone generator. This is, again, a fairly simple thing. So let's just go ahead and build that real quick. So you're going to have two stairs, three blocks apart. Now you're going to have one, two, three blocks in between, and then a stair. And then you're going to have on the uh, sides of the stairs, you're going to have some glass just right here and right here just to make sure that the water doesn't spill the way we don't want it to and now what you're going to do is place some temporary stone here then you're going to place your regular pistons three regular pistons right here one two three and then right here you're going to get two buckets of water keep in mind you will need an infinite water source to build this just in either side of this so then when these get formed, these things will uh, fall right back into place. Now the next thing to do is to layer this in glass on top of it. Like so, because this is where the lava is going to go. So you can go ahead and place your lava here and here. It actually should be all three like that. And the first time this happens, you probably are going to have to do something like that. Make sure that the three blocks below it are actually solid, but uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that after. All right. So next, what we're going to do is place four blocks like so with redstone on top of all of them. And then you're going to place a sticky piston here, count two blocks over, and then you're going to put a sticky piston facing towards the other sticky piston, just like so. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to complete a hopper clock here. So hopper clocks are fairly easy. All you got to do is have two redstone comparators um, that are comparing hoppers facing into each other just like that. Then that's going to go into a block and then that block is going to have a block right behind the piston. So we'll do that on the other side. Just like that. And then over here you're going to have redstone dust that's going to power the piston here. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a lever. You're going to go put that lever on this block here. Uh, and this will power that. But that's fine because we're just going to place this here. And then we're going to put eight items of any kind into the hopper. And we can see that over on this one. You'll see eight stone are on this one. And none are on this one. And you want it to be just like that. Now it could be any, any item like I said earlier. All right, so now what we're going to do is count out eight blocks from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And this is going to be the edge of your farm. So, you know, however you want to end, cap it off. But we are going to have water right behind this. So keep that in mind. So that's how we're going to do that. Now, put another eight blocks right behind it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then right here, what you're going to do is you're going to have trap doors. And these trapdoors actually need to be facing uh, that way. So they open that way. So you're going to place seven trapdoors like this. And then you're going to place eight blocks or seven blocks right on top like this. And you're going to put redstone dust on top of these blocks here. So this is going to actually determine when the water is let out and let in. And the reason we're using trapdoors is just because they're the cheapest thing that can hold water in. So then you're going to go ahead and waterlog all of these and not press Q like I did. Just like that. So now when this gets powered, for example, and then unpowered, they will get be, the water will be let out into a nice flow. And that's how the items are going to get pushed into the collection system, which we're going to build really quick here. But first, we want to connect this up to our redstone clock over here. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take some slabs and we're going to, on this one here, place a slab one block up. And then we're going to place a block on top of that slab and then a slab to the side. And this is going to allow us to wire redstone right up to the top here. And then we're going to go ahead and take some glass. We're going to go ahead and just start covering up some of this redstone here because we don't want um, any any accidents happening. But essentially what we're going to do is uh, put two pieces of redstone dust right here and here. And then you're going to get a repeater and set that repeater to two ticks just like that. Then put that repeater going into a block. And on the other side of that block, you're going to put a redstone torch. You can go and remove that temporary lever there. And then we can go ahead and wire up this one right here. And there you go. That is your uh, water system wired up. So now what we want to do is the uh, main way to bone meal this. So what you're going to want to do is either uh, run this for a little bit. And what that's going to do, I'll show you. And then it's going to end up at the piston limit eventually, and that's fine. We actually don't really care about that currently, but it's good to have an idea of where the blocks are going to be. So we can go ahead and shut this off, and it will do its last cycle. And there we go, we're back kind of where we started, but with a bunch of stone generated right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually set up our collection system. So under here, what we're going to do is we're going to just build out some blocks like this, it doesn't have to be that long, but just enough to reach this edge here. And then right here, we're gonna clear out those two and we're going to actually put a double chest right here. I'm just gonna use a regular chest and that's just gonna go boom, boom, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put a hopper right there. And that's gonna be our collection system. Now, uh, I'm going to cover this with glass, although it can be a block if you'd like. And then we're going to go ahead and put water down right here. And that's going to move everything to this hopper. That way we minimize the amount of hoppers we use. 
Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in our bone milling station. So in the center, this one right here, we're going to go ahead and put our one moss block, just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get a dispenser. And that dispenser is going to be facing directly into that moss block, just like that. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to have a temporary block here, here, and here. And then put a regular piston facing downwards. And that is going to clear the moss block so that when it gets bone milled, it actually can have uh, uh, be bone milled and spread onto these blocks. So next we're going to take two hoppers, or sorry, three hoppers, one, two, three. And then we're going to put a chest right here, uh, trapped or not. Uh, I think just use a regular chest because it's cheaper. And that chest goes right like that. And this is where you're going to supply your bone meal. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a block here and here. And then we're going to get some glass just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and wire up to this section here. And the way to do that is by simply taking our items here, or a, a block line, right, like this, and uh, convert it to glass when it comes over to here so it doesn't affect the actual timer bit. And then bring this redstone line all the way over. Now, what you're going to do is actually you're going to want to put a, some delay into that. And then bring this up here and down here. But the one up here, you're going to put into four uh, four ticks. And the one and down here doesn't really, it's just a regular redstone dust. And then what you're going to do is you're going to load this up with your bone meal. So if I was to get bone meal, I would load this up just like so. And obviously that will start loading up this dispenser. Start loading up these hoppers. And so on and so forth until it's basically filled with bone meal and then this is where you're going to keep replenishing your bone meal if you want to set up a whole system later on that would be awesome however next we just got to make sure that nothing will actually uh, get lost so what we do is we go ahead and bring a wall over here of glass and we just bring this over all the way to there and then we get ourselves some signs and we go ahead and place six signs Just like that. And this means that the water that goes will only stop at this block and then let the items fall into this water stream. Now a safety measure is placing another layer of blocks right here just to make sure that there is no items lost. But now you can go ahead and start the farm as long as this has bone meal in it. So let's go ahead and give it a go. Aha, look at that. We have our stuff going. Kaboom. And would you look at that? We're already getting blocks being pushed in. Aha. Very nice. And as you can see, this thing will generate stuff for days. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.